to say that you feel like you're doing the right thing for your child and your community in the long run, but it's hurting your child. Happening right now, Williamson County parent weighing in, saying the school district's social media policy goes too far and is unconstitutional. Fox 17's Kai Beach now joins us from Midtown with more on this story. Kai? Hey, Scott, we're here outside of the ACLU office where earlier today they sent this letter to the Williamson County School District telling them to revise that policy. As Daniel Pomerant sets up for Halloween, there's something that scares this Nolanville man's young family much more than any ghost or goblin. And they keep calling it the media release. Pomerant says that media release is giving Williamson County schools overbearing control over their students' technology and social media accounts and is ultimately unconstitutional. One is it says that the software can monitor what students do when they aren't at school or on school properties. They can't post any pictures of any student regardless of when or where it was taken. And the third thing is it says that they reserve the right to install, to install spyware on computers that, that we own, that our children own. When Pomerantz declined to sign the form, he claims his daughter, a kindergartner at Nolansville Elementary, was excluded from using the school's computers. She was the only person in the class who wasn't allowed to do this because I was apparently the only parent that didn't want to sign away her rights to privacy and free speech. That's when Pomerantz broke down and signed the form. But he also contacted the American Civil Liberties Union of Tennessee. And today, the ACLU sent Williamson County Schools this letter telling them to revise this policy. Williamson County Schools fired back with this statement, saying they're committed to protecting students' constitutional rights while maintaining a safe and secure learning environment. Now, the ACLU says they hope to resolve this issue outside of court, but will go there if needed. Live in Midtown, Kai Beach, Fox 17 News.